Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Ariana, and today I am going to be doing a fun fall Sheen haul with you guys. So if you guys are interested in the clothes I got from Sheen, then please keep watching. So I actually had trouble filming this video and I am finally filming on a camera. I got a Canon G7X PowerShot 1 Mark II and I love it so much and I'm so happy that I got it. So when I was originally doing it and I was filming on my phone, it was very fuzzy, the lighting wasn't right and all of that. And so now I could finally redo it. The only thing though is that in my try on portion, if you do think that some of the items look a little blurry, it's because I shot them on my phone and now I've worn a lot of clothes from the haul because they've been washed and I've had them for now like three weeks. So that is why they might look a little fuzzy, but it'll be fixed after that. And sorry if there's so much background noise, my windows are open in my apartment, but let's get started. So I wanna start with this cardigan that I actually have on right now and it is this nice chunky gray cardigan and I wore it today and let me tell you it is amazing. I got it in a size small and I love how it is oversized. I love how the sleeve pattern is different than the pattern on the back of it. This is like more of like small holes and knitted and this is a little bit more like bigger holes and it has like this little like swiggly pattern and I'm obsessed with that. So I really like this a lot and it's been so comfortable to wear all day. And then I am actually wearing the pants that I bought from Sheen too and it's these striped pants and they're very, very comfortable and I really like them a lot. I would definitely say the only downside to the pants is that you need to wear something longer over it because they are a little bit see-through. So that's why I've been wearing this cardigan with it and you also have to wear nude undergarments. Um, I have a shirt tucked into it and you can kind of see where the shirt ends. So that's a little alarming, but I do like it a lot. The only thing though is that it does scrunch at the waist. Um, but when you pull the string, it doesn't tighten them. So if you do want to get these, then make sure you get it true to size because they can be a little bit bigger. So I had to pull them up a little bit higher to make them high-waisted because in the crotch area was a little bit big on me. So I got these in a size small and they are a gray and white striped pattern. The next thing I got is this nice sweater vest and I am obsessed. It is so soft, it is so comfortable. You can wear a turtleneck underneath, you can wear a long sleeve. You can either maybe wear just short sleeves or nothing. Um, and you could just wear it like this. It really all depends on how you kind of want to style it. I also like that it is shorter in the front and longer in the back. You can see it's about maybe an inch and a half to two inches of more room at the bottom but i would say more of an inch and a half and i just really liked this a lot and i just can't wait to wear it i know that sweater vests were really in last year and i never hopped on that trend so um i'm on it this year so hopefully they are still in like the trend. I have another sweater vest here and this is a black one. And as you can see, it's a little bit shorter than the other one I just showed you. This is in a size small. And I have to say that I was a little disappointed in this because I didn't know that it was gonna be this tiny. And when it came and I opened up the package, I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't know that it was this small. So um, if you wear it like how I styled it in the try on part where I was wearing high-waisted pants, I mean, you can get along with it that way. If you really just don't want to wear high-waisted stuff and you want to wear it with low-rise jeans, you can do that too. That's not how I'm going to wear it. But um, I will get my use out of this because I do really like sweater vests. But um, I was definitely disappointed in the lane. Because brown is a huge color trending right now, I decided to get a chunky brown I would say maybe more mocha. You guys are kind of seeing a little more like reddish brown on your end, but it is mocha brown. And I am obsessed with this chunky knitted sweater. I got this in a size small. You have to wear something underneath because the holes are knitted so that it's see-through. But I am obsessed with it. I love that it's oversized. I love oversized knitted sweaters. They are so comfortable. The only downside of this sweater is that this the around the wrist area on the sleeves, it is wide. Um, 
I guess that was intentional to kind of make it look like it had a flare, but it really doesn't flare, it just looks too big on the wrist, at least for me. Um, but so that might create a little bit of more airflow since it already has the holes plus that. But honestly, I really liked this a lot and the material is amazing. This next thing I got is a Los Angeles, California sweatshirt. I got it in a size medium because I know how Sheen sweatshirts run. They do say that this is a sweatshirt, I don't personally like the feeling of their sweatshirts. I kind of just wanted to get a white sweatshirt that was in white because I literally have no sweatshirt in the color white. And so I picked this one up. It has fleece on the inside and then it's a polyester type of material on the outside. I could definitely have done without this, but it's fine. It's comfortable to lounge in and if you're going out and running errands and stuff, but you would definitely need to wear this with layers because it is not a thick sweatshirt at all happy october this shirt is literally amazing i was gonna wear it the first day of october to work but then i decided to wear this little outfit here so i'm filming this on friday and you're seeing it on sunday but this cute little shirt has all of these pumpkin decorations and it says give things jack a little and all stuff like that and how precious is it and all of these like colors of this of these pumpkins and all that pop off this beige color and i love it this graphic tee i got in a medium i have graphic tees from sheen and i know that they could be a little bit more on the fitted side since i'm wearing these to work and i work as a slpa in a school and i'm getting my master's degree in slp um just for a little background of people who don't know me yet um that's what i do and so i wanted it to be a little loose because i can maybe tuck this into a pair of pants i can tie it in the front or i could just wear it loose like this but i want things that could be a little bit on the looser end and i am obsessed and i can't wait to wear this on monday for work because i work with kids i also wanted to get a shirt that says be kind to just have a little reminder to them that they need to be kind to one another and just being kind can make such a difference in someone's day and i am obsessed with this pattern that's going Going on with this little rainbow and all the different neutral colors with the animal print and the pink I love it so much and I love how it pops off this black shirt um, and I also got this in a size medium there are three things that I actually already wore as well from the sheen haul so if you guys are wondering why it's not on hangers that's the reason why I need to do laundry this weekend so um, I haven't washed them yet but this is a shirt and it says happy fall and how cute is it i am obsessed i wore it and i loved it so much and because it is in a size medium i was able to wear this with some leggings and boots and a cardigan and i love it and i love how these pumpkins like I said, as the other shirts pop off of this color. Um, I love green lately. I've been loving green actually for the past few months and green was a super big color that was in during the warmer season. So I definitely really liked that. And I love the little animal print um, pumpkin as well. I feel like I'm obsessed with animal print. Also, if you hear the birds going crazy, I'm sorry. There's literally, they're literally going crazy. Like they keep like squawking. Okay, anyway, next. I wore this, why? I wore this black cardigan with the fall shirt as well. And it's a little bit of material, so that's why it's kind of hard for me to show right now. But it has a V shape on the shoulder area that it goes on. And it's super long, it's super comfortable, and it even stretches a lot. I got this in a size small, and I know that they have this in a bunch of other colors, if I'm not mistaken. And I hope that it's still the case because I did buy these about a month ago, so it's kind of hard to tell what is still available and what's not. The other shirt that I also wore is this black waffle short sleeve shirt and it has a V cut in the front. And I wore something underneath this because it is a little bit low cut, especially if you work in a professional area. Um, like you just need to wear something underneath it. And I got it in a medium because I could tell when it was on the model, it was a little bit smaller and it actually is shorter in the front, longer in the back. And I wore this with a cardigan. And some of you may think that I'm crazy for getting short sleeve shirts in this kind of weather, but the air conditioner and the heating system in my school is a little messed up. And so, 
sometimes it's a little bit hotter or a little bit colder than it's supposed to be so like days like this and especially if it's warmer out during the rest of the day i just put a short sleeve shirt on underneath and throw a cardigan over it and you can layer it that way with that black waffle shirt i also got it in this green color you guys know i've already told you this i'm obsessed with green lately but i love this type of material i feel like waffle material is great and it's also really stretchy and this is also in a size medium i got the next three things they're all the same shirt and i just got it in different colors because i feel like with turtlenecks you need to have the base basics of colors so they will literally go under any type of outfit or shirt or anything it will match whatever so I got the first one in gray and like I said it is a turtleneck these are all in a size small these are a little more fitted and I like when my turtlenecks are fitted because it will make sure that it is secure under whatever you're wearing it with and so you don't have to literally lift up all your layers keep tucking them in and then keep doing that throughout the day so that's annoying so that is in gray that is not see-through the black one you can get away with wearing a black bra with it because um it will match the shirt and so you won't have to wear like or you can even wear a nude bra with it it won't be see-through the only one that is going to be see-through is the white one and even when i'm holding it up to the light now i can see through it on the other end the other two i can't so just be mindful of that if you don't like how fitted they are then you might not like these um, but i like fitted turtlenecks that is why i got them i also got this light blue shirt and i got this because it was a steal it was four dollars at the time it is a little bit more on the thinner end so you have to wear something underneath but i just really liked this light blue color and how the multicolor with the brown and black buttons match the shirt and they pop off the shirt and i love it so much and um i just thought it was nice to just be able to throw a cardigan over and wear it like with a relaxed look and i got this in a size small this is not a fall winter shirt either and it's a little more yellow on my end than you're probably seeing but it's this yellow crop top and i loved it so much because it was also cheap and that's why i got it because it was on the sale if i'm not mistaken but um in the try on i did unbutton the first one just because it was a little bit higher up and the material is very very stretchy on this so i really liked this a lot and you can honestly wear this to apple picking or a pumpkin patch if you layered it correctly um you would be able to still wear this now especially since the weather is fluctuating so much it's like cold really like really really cold in the morning and then towards the afternoon it's like really warm out so it's like no in between um so you would definitely still be able to wear this i feel like definitely with a cardigan a denim jacket or something along those lines these black pants because they were washed they are very wrinkled but what i love about them is the ankle area so it has a cutout in a v shape and it goes a little bit um higher than your ankle and i love them they are so so comfortable to wear and it actually zippers on the right side of your hip so that's how you would be able to make sure that they are secure i got these in a size small and the material on them feels more than leggings but not jeans so i wouldn't consider them jeggings either because they don't have any pockets and all of that stuff and it's like nowhere near jean material but um I don't know i'm just obsessed i would say the only downside is i did put them in the dryer and they did shrink unfortunately by my ankles so what you saw in the try on it is not that same length anymore but i'm gonna see what i could do about it because i really want to wear these because they're just so comfortable and working with kids and running around and playing with them if I am in a classroom therapy session um it's really important that i wear comfortable clothes so i'm gonna see what i could do about those but just be mindful of that that it could potentially shrink in the dryer if you put them in the dryer but hopefully you now hear me and don't do that and just have them air dry last but not least my favorite thing from this haul is definitely this teddy bear jacket I, if i could live in something this would be it and it is so comfortable so soft it is this tan color it looks a little more of a yellowy type of color on your end but it has these mirrored buttons which is so nice and it has two hefty big pockets 
and um, I got this in a size small and I'm telling you this is so comfortable I would say though this is definitely not a winter jacket it's not going to be heavy enough to be one but especially when the days are between like 45 to like low 60s or even under a little bit of 60s you can wear this because it is not going to be too hot to be able to make you feel like you're sweating and everything you'll feel comfortable wearing it then so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys had fun and i will link everything down below i am five foot and i usually order anything that's an extra small or a small but like i said i signed sized up on some things because i already know how they fit me because i've ordered stuff from sheen before and i'm sorry if i keep looking up because i'm getting used to this camera thing and also i'm sorry for the birds behind me because they are literally going crazy but please like subscribe comment be my friend and today's quote of the day is take advantage of every opportunity given to you thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i'll see you guys later